And although I didn't come to Jefferson City to fight, I'm willing to fight for children and teachers. Missouri's top education official is voted out of office. Find out why the governor wanted control over the state board. You can't pay the rent. You know, where, what's going to happen? You're going to be on the streets. And new at 6 tonight, people are fighting to stop low-income housing cuts. We'll show you what could happen if the protections are completely eliminated here in mid-Missouri. And it's going to feel more like spring this weekend. I'm still tracking that warm-up, plus some rain on Monday. I'll show you the timing of that coming up in the first seven minutes. ABC 17 News at 6 on KMIZ starts now. A plan to eliminate tax credits for low-income housing did not go over well during a public hearing this morning. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Taylor Petrus. Joey and Ashley are both off tonight. The Missouri Housing Development Commission voted on a decision last month. ABC 17's Jordana Marie was at the hearing this morning. She joins us now live in the studio. Jordana, you spoke with some of the people who would be affected if these tax credits do get cut. Taylor, without these credits, there will be less money for developers to be incentivized to build low-income housing and less money for programs like the Columbia Housing Authority to renovate existing projects. What this means for those residents, including many disabled and elderly, is they could end up homeless. That's a level of fear that they live, that we all live in. Pam Hildebrand is a disabled senior. 